I am going to be demonstrating for you how to create your stylized ceramic house. You should already have templates created for the front and the back of your house and the sides. For my particular house, this piece is used for both the front and the back and my sides happen to be the same size. So I only have one piece for my side, you might have two. When you get your clay on the first day, it is already wedged, so you do not need to wedge it. The first thing you need to do is roll out a nice big slab. I'm gonna turn my board long ways, put my clay in the middle, and put my wooden slats on either edge. Remember, that keeps us um, in a good thickness. So then I'm gonna stand up, use my rolling pin, and roll out my clay until the rolling pin sits on these wooden slats. Now that I have my nice big slab rolled out, I am going to cut out all four pieces of my sides. So I'm going to start by getting this to fit as best I can. Then I'm going to use this wire tool to cut this out. Cut like that. There. And like that. So there's my first piece. See if this will fit? No, it won't. So. I have to take this extra clay and wedge it back together and roll it out again. Now remember, to wedge my clay, I have to put it into a ball and then just knead it on top of my board. Okay? This clay doesn't look like quite enough to make another piece, so I'm just going to grab another slab. Anytime that you run out of clay, um, please just raise your hand and let me know and I'll grab you another slab as well. So again, I put my wooden slats on either side. I'm gonna use my rolling pin to roll this out until it sits on the wooden slats. We want this all to be the same thickness all the way through so it's sturdy and it dries nice and evenly. Okay. Next, I'm gonna cut out one of my side pieces. So again, I'll line it up, cut it out with my wire tool. Okay. And then I need another one of these for the other side. So I'm gonna make it fit on here, which it does, and cut out another one. Now notice this big wet ring on my board. This makes the clay stick. So if you have trouble peeling these off, in your tool container you wanna look for a flat piece of wire like this. You're gonna take this and use this to just scrape these right off your board. And then just set them aside on your table. Okay, so on the first day, you need to cut out all four sides. So I have one, two, three, let's pretend this is a piece of clay, and four. It's too wet to assemble this today, so what we're gonna do is wrap it up and wait to assemble until tomorrow. At this point, if you would like to start doing some of your designs, you can. So for example, if I wanna start adding some doors and windows, I'm gonna use this wire tool. I can draw them on here, like this. or I can literally cut them all the way out. So if I want a window here and I want it to go all the way through, just pop that out, okay? So if you wanna do some of your carving or drawing, you can do that on the first day as well. When it's time to clean up, you are going to stack these on top of each other with the paper in between so that they don't get stuck together, like this, okay? You're gonna take them, put them inside your plastic bag, tie your plastic bag closed and leave them overnight. Day two, you'll get here and you're going to pull these apart. So you have all of your pieces. Now we're gonna start assembling. So I'm gonna start with my biggest piece and I'm gonna lay it down flat. This piece is going to attach onto the side right here. So what I'm gonna do is take my wire tool and I'm going to score the side. So I'm making X's, okay? Then I'm going to score this as well. This isn't really on the side, this is just on the, the flat edge here. Then I'm gonna use some glue. 
for my slip. And I'm going to put some on here and then press these two together. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the same with my other side. So I'm gonna score this. I'm gonna score this piece as well. Add some slip. And then press these pieces together. Once I have the three sides together, should be sturdy enough to stand this up. So now that I've got it stood up, I would attach my last side. Slip and score everything, put it together. So let's pretend that this last side is up here. The next step would be to smooth out all of the seams in the clay. So you can see right here we've got seams. We want these to go away. So I'm just going to take my finger and very gently I'm going to pull that clay across to get rid of that seam. If I'm having trouble doing that, I can use one of these yellow tools and use the back end to kind of smooth that out. We want to get rid of all of those seams. Once all of your seams have been rubbed out, then you can make your roof. Here's how you make your roof. I'm gonna take my, my house structure and put it aside. A piece of clay, and I'm gonna roll out a slab. So once again, take these pieces, make sure this is nice and wedged. and I'm going to roll this out. Don't want to hit my house there. Roll it till it sits on the wooden slats. Okay, perfect. All right, so now that I have my slab rolled out, I can start to make my roof. I can make my roof fit perfectly or I can have it kind of hang off the sides. If you notice on mine, the roof kind of hangs off the sides. It doesn't fit exactly perfectly. So what I did was cut out a nice rectangular slab. Like this. And then just kind of saw where it was going to hit on my project like that. Actually, I could probably go just like that. Look at how that, perfect. So now I would slip and score it in place. Add score here, score here, score here, score right all around the edges, and then add the glue to put this piece on top, okay? Now we've got the basic structure of the house. There's still a lot to be done. Remember that you have five days to work on this project, which means you can add things to the outside, you can add things to the roof, you can model chimneys. I could take an extra slab of clay and make a little patio out front. I could put some balconies on here. Um, I want you to think about both carving and modeling. So modeling means adding clay to this, and then carving means taking clay away.